Hi, welcome to another stealth camp. Today we're going to be looking at the Plough Point Tarp. I am G and this is Big Grizzly Outdoors. Okay, well we're here, another solo night out in the wilderness, um, let's get this plough point tarp up.
as you can see the tarps all set up sleeping bags in the bivy bag so let's get something to eat Basically, uh, what I'm doing here, and what I found better with these stoves, is um, to build what they call an upside down fire. So, instead of lighting it from the bottom like a traditional fire, I'm gonna light it from the top. And what you'll find with this is that. Um, tends to burn a lot longer so I tend to put bigger stuff at the bottom and then towards the top more of the uh, the twig kind of style So, what's on the menu tonight? Well, let's have a look. We have curry flavoured instant noodles. Let's see how they taste. And also, It ain't uh, it ain't uh, a night out if you don't get your coffee, right? 
So as you can see that fire is burning really well now and that will keep going for ages. Um, I've raised the stove off the ground because obviously the ground around here is so dry at the moment. Um, just trying to be responsible and don't want to cause any fires. So uh, yeah, cool. Anyway, let's crack on. It's quite warm today but uh, we are expecting some rain later tonight. I don't know what time. Um, so that should be interesting and that will probably be my first night out in the rain. Um, hopefully I'll stay dry if I've set all my kit up properly. Um, it's definitely quiet. Nothing about it at all. Nothing. That's what I like about it. Completely stress free. Don't have to answer to anyone. Just yourself. You can probably hear the birds and everything going. Especially, you know, the last uh, few months have been, um, you know, a real challenge for some people. You know, well, not just some people, everybody. Um, and now with everything that's going on in America as well, um, there's times like this you actually reflect what is this world coming to but hey let's not get on a downer we're out it's still dry we've got some food on the go we're gonna have a coffee and uh, I'll see you in a bit so uh, one thing that I've been uh, meaning to ask and if you uh, want to respond by putting it in the comments is um, when I was buying my stove, I wanted a twig stove, I wanted titanium, I also wanted 750ml pot with lid, handles and uh, whatever this bit is called and um, I ended up going on the internet. Now you can spend a lot of money and I know learned that really quick but uh, these are from China, China, uh, from a uh, company called Tomshu. What is the difference between Tomshu, Lixada, or something you know that's um, more expensive? Um, is the titanium not as good? Um, I don't know. Um, it's kind of uh, throwing me really. I mean that stove was twenty pound, um, and uh, the cup was was you know pretty pretty cheap as well. You know, so I. Um, I kind of struggle a little bit to see see where uh, well the the cost is for this stuff. So um, anyone can let me know. That's great. Um, what I do like the look of um, is the bush box, um, the L LF. Um, I've seen Paul Messner do a couple of really good reviews on those, um, and I think that might be going on the old Christmas list. Um, Hopefully, uh, my uh, my good lady wife um, will look after me. Um, but who knows? Um, but they do look really good. They're about um, just over fifty pounds, and um, you can buy some ex accessories and extras and that for it. So uh, you know, I might do that. Um, but uh, we'll see. But they do look they do look really good. Um, hopefully my chicken curry noodles will be just as good. Um, give that a heat up. See where we're going. I think I can feel just a few spots of rain. So I'm kind of hoping. Fingers crossed I'm going to stay dry. Who knows. What I like to do with, uh, with my uh, Tom Shoe twig stove is uh, after I finish cooking, um, I like to kind of almost do a almost like a Swedish torch. So I cut up you know, some reasonable size uh, bits of wood and then 
Just put them in the in each corner, like so. So, and that keeps it going for quite a while. Um, I don't know if anybody else uh, does that. Um, let me know in the comments. Um, the other thing as well is, give me some advice. If I'm doing something wrong, let me know. I mean, I'm really new to this, so. Um, so, some of it, you're watching a lot of YouTube videos, but a lot of it, I'm, I'm winging it, really. Um, Got a lot of great advice from TA Outdoors, um, Paul Messner, um, Corporal's Corner is another one, Simon a bloke in the woods uh, is another one that I follow, um, so yeah all of all of those are, are, are really good, Kent Survival I think it's called is another one that I watch quite a lot of, um, so yeah let me know. definitely starting to rain, I don't know whether you can hear that, but, uh, but yeah, coffee's good. Let's give these uh, curry flavoured noodles a try. Bad at all. Well, looks like the uh Rain has, uh, hasn't really amounted to much, just uh, a bit of um, a bit of light spitting really. But uh, had my coffee, finished my chicken curry noodles, which weren't all that bad to be honest. Um, good old Tesco's. Um, but my good lady wife has, I don't know whether you can see this because it's dark, left me a bag of peanuts, raisins, and milk chocolate peanuts. So uh, look at that. So uh, I'm going to uh, dig into those. Thank you very much. So all the creature comforts from home. Well. Is that uh, time to hit the sack? Proper rock in the lockdown haircut. Not sure whether you can hear that, but there is the slight pitter patter of rain again. Guess I'll see you all in the morning. morning. Hope you slept as well as I did. Uh, got a brew going. Had a few spots of rain in the night but nothing drastic. 
Um, these DD tarps, really good. Um, keep the rain off. This is a three by three. Um, gonna get a brew, have a coffee, and then uh, get the hell out of Dodge. Had a really good, comfortable night's sleep. After my review on the Sea to Summit uh, Eros pillow last week, when I got home, I decided to order the uh, Sea to Summit um, inflatable mat. Um, and I was on that last night, um, and that was really good. So uh, watch out for uh, a review coming up on that in the next few weeks. So, but yeah. All good. Can't complain at all. No scary noises in the night like last week. Bonus. Uh, not much else to report really. Obviously the dawn call has sat us up this morning. Jeez. Well, thanks for joining me on another night out. It was uh, really, really enjoyed it. I feel like I'm really starting to get to grips with it now. Um, if there's anything that you want to see, please don't forget to put something in the comments. Um, I do reply. Um, there's a couple of really good channels if you want additional information. Uh, the Outdoor Gear Review is a brilliant one. I'll put all of these uh, in the description. Uh, Sergeant Fruitcake is another one that I watch quite a bit of. Um, really appreciate you taking the time to watch the video um, I enjoy making them so please hit the like button and as always subscribe and uh, just go along to that little bell click the bell to get your notifications and then click all notifications that way you'll know every time I upload a new video so until next time, thank you very much, please be safe and uh, take care.